Chris, but somebody's got to come in second. What should we do now? Oh, I know. Let's play Fast Money. Since you're playing alone, you'll be answering twice. Be easy for you, Geminis. I'm going to ask you five survey questions in a limited time. Then I'll ask you the same questions again. If you can score 200 points altogether, you'll win the jackpot. The clock starts now. Name a place people go, which they insist be clean. Name an animated character who lost their mother. Name something that you sometimes don't bother to take off when you go to bed. Which of the seven dwarves can you relate to most? Name something you might find at the foot of the bed. That's all five. Are you ready to go again? It's time to face those questions again. But this time, we want to hear some different answers. The clock's all set. Let's go. Name a place people go, which they insist be clean. Name an animated character who lost their mother. Name something that you sometimes don't bother to take off when you go to bed. Which of the seven dwarves can you relate to most? Name something you might find at the foot of the bed. We're all questioned out. That's it. There's nothing more we can do now. It's time to find out if you've hit the jackpot. For starters, we asked, Name a place people go, which they insist be clean. Here's what you said. Let's see what the survey said. Oh, one's pointed, the other's pointless. Bathroom. That was top. For question two, we asked, Name an animated character who lost their mother. Let's remind everyone what you said. Here we go. Our survey said... Not your finest answers, for sure. What would have been top? Bambi. Here's our next question. We asked 100 people, name something that you sometimes don't bother to take off when you go to bed. And your answers... I think we might be good on this one. Yay. At least one of them got some points. <laughs> Clothes. That was our top answer. On our next question, we asked, Which of the seven dwarves can you relate to most? And here's what you said. I think we've got a couple of good answers there. 
A good answer and a not so good answer. What do you think the top answer was? Grumpy. For our last question of the game. Name something you might find at the foot of the bed. These were your answers. It's the final question. What did our survey say? <laughs> it's not your day today. <laughs> Unfortunately, you didn't do well enough to win that jackpot. Looks like you won't get the $20,000, but you'll still get to go away with something. We're going to take your score from the whole game and turn it into some money. I want to thank both our families for coming on Family Feud. Until next time, save your feuding. Just be loving. Should we keep playing? <laughs>